Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Ignick. Welcome back to the park. Oh. That kinda sounded weird. The game glitched up for a second. I don't know if that was good or bad. Probably bad. I don't know if you heard that. This old thing used to make the blood run to my head. It'd make me dizzy. The guy just snapped. Those poor kids. As I was saying, I'm so used to holding down a button to uh to run and crouch and stuff that I have forgotten how to play this. Like then. I didn't realize I was just running. I love to write this. I want to write it. Hmm. The music's a bit discord, I don't know if I should. Do I have a flashlight? Oh, I can. I can't get on while it's moving. Oh, this is a half life thing I have to turn off. I can't get on while it's moving. Just turn off. Okay. Yes. We can write it. I know it's gonna happen. This thing's gonna. Uh, this thing's gonna go really fast, and I'm gonna fly up and die. Actually, I don't know if you can die in this game. I don't think so. It's more of a cinematic. It's like a movie you interact with. And I think you can if you can die. Yeah, there. This is not Steam VR or Oculus Rift. This would be a very intense experience for me. Like I said, this game is extremely literal. It's almost as if it's real. It's really like cinematic. Looks like, oh, who does that look like? That looks like one of the fursuit mascots from Great Wolf Lodge. I thought I'd just like point that out. Treachery hides in thoughts. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. Is this the right way? The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing and I thought, is that it? We build our world from expectations, and the world that I had I built for Callum was no different. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. And they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. Why can't I run? That thing's gonna lash out at me, isn't it? Is this the right way? Am I going the right way? I think I am. Ooh, is that a roller coaster? Oh man, this this reminds me of some happy memories that are. Oh wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Have I already gone through Constant this. Constant crashes and '80s music. Guess it floats someone's boat. Oh, okay, so this takes place way past the '70s. I want to hear some 80s music. That's back when music was good. 
feel like I got effed up by Sir Mixel in the early 90s. Oh. Frankenstein version of me. Is this like the near ending of 2001 A Space Odyssey where you see yourself in multiple dimensions from different times? I don't even know. Can I ride this? I kind of want to ride this. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to ride this ride. I don't care what you say. Wait, what was that? Oh, okay, that was just my body. There was like a HUD or something that popped up. Okay, I'm gonna ride this. I'm gonna ride this because I know something, something bad's gonna happen in the end, and I just wanna ride it. Don't wanna miss anything, don't wanna disappoint the viewers. So, I wanna ride this. Can you run any faster, lady? Ooh, this looks operational. I wanna ride this one. It looks like a DeLorean. I like this. Oh. 76. One of, one of the straps attaching the load to the truck came and tied us. Oh. This way, I like this. Come on, I can't run when I'm startled. It's gonna jump at me, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna jump at me. It's gonna jump at me. How is it still powered? Alan, where did you go? Oh, I forgot I could do that. It's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car, watching my boy through the window. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... just gets some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, Yes, Sheriff. I'm always afraid. 
afraid that one of the, the pod that I'm in might snap off and I'll fall 600, to 600 feet or so to my doom. Okay, what's going on here? People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered right a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, Cat he meow. offered to walk me home. Wait a minute. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't tell you if Calum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. I think it has to be that night. That oh, one that's perfect the freaking night. Of the fair spot. I thought I heard like a Don little and I moved in together, cat. but then, well, he died. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment. And then gone. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Uh, Fairy tale fucking over. Fairy tale fucking over, or whatever she said. I like that. I like that phrase. That's. I like that. scarier or less scary having an unrealistic guy that looks like some team fortress 2 halloween event character wearing a, wearing a ghostly gibbous can i go up here i think i i think i'm supposed to go up here this is open world so i you know misleading landscapes okay you can't jump so i don't think we can go up That's the oldest and most rundown looking Ferris wheel I've ever seen. Man, this lady needs an HEV suit. She she can't run. She can't run near as fast as a turtle. And the reason why I say a turtle is because I have seen turtles run, and they run a lot faster than her. Wait a minute. Oh, whatever. I'm Where are you, Calum? Wait a minute. What do I... Oh. Hello. Where are you, Calum? Wait. Can I... Oh, no, I can't. Wait. I'm... Oh. Damn it. I had to walk all the way back. Why did I get this game? I was hoping maybe that Killer Chipmunk, Chip and Dale guy, or Father and Son Lumber Co. Whatever, they, whatever. I was hoping. I, mean, I want to. I want to like to battle that Chipmunk to the death. Okay. Stay where you are. Can I go back down? Am I supposed to go down? What? No. I I have a feeling that this is like Half-Life 2, where it's one-way exploration. I think I do have to go over these rocks somehow. Let's see, if it saves... Atlantic Island. So I'm on the eastern half of the country. Well, what country is this? It looks like Canada. Well, okay. I've never been to Canada. Oh, okay, wait, do we go this way? Yes, we go this way. I am such an idiot. Ooh. Funky music. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is one of the cars. 
Yeah, funky music. I want to go in here. Oh, that's a strange coincidental link of events. Is that baby gonna come at me? Is that doll gonna come at me? That's gonna be my weakness if things like that start coming at me. I do suffer from automatonophobia. So it really shouldn't be a problem to... Did I just go in a circle? Okay. And what? I don't... I think I'm... A lot of people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk? Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping up piss, feeding them, little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... <sighs> this is the most entertaining dialogue I've insane. ever heard. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am oh. honest. Callum sort really of like grinds the, my gears, and he owes me everything. From, uh, this, uh, everything. Like it's so the Beach. little fuck right if I just abandon him. This 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 really question reminds you of the of the swamp fox I saw. Um. In April of 2014, for my uh, I always wanted to ride this one. Never got around my, to do uh, it before. Spring break, we went to Myrtle Beach, and we went on a roller coaster called the Swamp Fox. It was really cool. It felt like you were. Oh, I, I miss roller coasters. It's where you, when you go over bumps, it feels like you're derailed off the tracks. So it's just really cool. It's what where do you want? Creepy. We need to talk about Callum. What do you mean? What have you done to him? I? What? That's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Where is Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so hungry. Tell me where my son is. Which has it now? Has both of you? No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Just... just leave me alone. Fool. You always were. This, I kind of wish this was VR. I like roller coasters. Whoa. That was kind of cool. What? Flashback to uh, Birth of Callum. I think so. Okay. It's not as fun as doing the real thing. It's like watching. That. Sort of like watching a sports game on TV. It's not this fun unless you're doing the real thing. But I really don't like sports, games, to be honest. Where's that guy? Uh, it's not like Half Life 2 where you can turn your head wherever you want to. Where's the guy? Where's the guy? Where's the guy here? Where'd he go? Is he in here? So what do I do now? Oh, I get it. It's one way. So yeah, it's a path. A psychopath. Get it? Oh, finally. Which awaits. How do I turn Callum? It? Callum! How do I turn it on? Hey, hold on a second. How do I turn on the flashlight? Uh, how do? Uh, wait, uh, uh, what? Wait a minute. 
and they shout visual guidance okay I'm just gonna enable that what do I how do I enable the mouse Cal, where are you? The, how do I enable the flashlight where do I go it's like half-life 2 it's one of those where the F do you go kind of games Callum has bruises on his arms, finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. Wait, how do you know that? I've asked him, demanded really, to know where he got the marks. But he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. Wait, what? He doesn't dare talk. Wait, she talking about He's now? been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night? He tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. What? I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. But they are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby Wait. away from me. Which way do I go? I can save him. And there will be pain. But I love him, and in the end, he will understand why. What? Which way do I go? Damn it. Come back! Oh, okay, it's this way. E, F, D, R, T, Y, G, H, F, B, C, X, Z, B, N, M, K, L, backspace, alt F4, no, don't do that. That's right. Sprint, lady, sprint. This game shouldn't take this long to beat, even though I want to, I've tried to make a series out of this. I just realized that this game is going to be very long. The whole town was shocked by that one. Never found out who did it. What? Oh, this is gross. This is obviously Scott Carlton inspired. Oh, here's where the creepy stuff starts. How do I act? Ooh. How do I... I'm ready for the jump scares. I didn't. Well, actually, I don't think there'd be jump scares. I'm going to enclose myself in this small air area. Okay. So I suppose I can't activate the flashlight unless I'm in a dark area. Where do I go? I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna get scared. Hello. You bastard. I did this to him. Who's that? Who's that MacGyver? He's gonna, he's gonna get up and scare me, isn't he? Oh, okay. Never mind. I just did. I'm gonna go near this thing. I don't... Oh. I was just waiting for that guy to. I thought that was the door. I was just waiting for that guy. This is definitely a Scott Colton inspired game. I don't get any ideas. I'm not some super autistic ADHD kid who's obsessed with the, with the game search you know I'm talking about. I don't want to mention the name because I don't want to make myself look like an, another one of them. Because trust me, even though I do enjoy the, the four of those games, or only two of four, it's not because every other kid likes them, it's because it, it's interesting. In fact, Scott Colton's idea for those games uh, were not an original thought. 
when I was five, I always had, uh, always had nightmares that Chuck E. Cheese animatronics would come after me, and right before they kill me, I woke up. So obviously, I can somehow go through here. And here. What do I do? How do I get through this? Eh, it's one of those Half-Life 2 situations. Are, are, there, are there anything, is there like anything I can use to get through here? Like maybe some figures? Or some, uh, plasmids? Something. The, oh. These are mine. Wait. She's definitely a female Jack Ryan. Oh yeah. 1980s. We can time travel if you want to. We can leave your friends behind. Because if your friends don't time travel, and if they don't time travel, well, there are no friends of mine. Are you better off than you were four years ago? Reagan, 1980. Yeah, A's, Ash, Come on. Follow the stream. I don't get this. This is like that one. It's like a Minecraft shader pack. Oh, okay. I'm Loopy, I'm Loopy. Those eyeballs. That's gross. Where's the Mr. Squirrel chip guy? Yo, that guy in a creep. Where are you? Go away! What do you say? Alright. Alright. Let's jump my. Yeah, I'm gonna go over here. Can't interact with that. At the, at the end of the day, I suppose that that entire villain of this. It's gonna be the purple guy. Just saying. Those are some strange physics. Don't touch me! What? Who said that? Who said that? Callum, I'm sorry. Am I yelling through a fan blade or something? Yeah, whatever. I don't care what you say. Guard what I can't read any of this. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to find the chipmunk guy? Where's the possessed sandy cheeks? I need to find him slash her. So I, do I just go back to the middle or Oh what the hell? Oh, okay. So now he's gone. I'm gonna go through here. What? Oh, am I interesting plasmids now? Oh, God, no. Oh. Oh. Am I a tie? Oh, no. Those are blood bugs. Okay. Okay, well, that seems like a good place to stop for now. So, as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you all in the next video.